Hello, we're back. This time we're going to keep working with the Calculate menu, which is right here above the Trace button. Now, in order to show you some nicer features, I've changed my function to a slightly more advanced function. This is negative 2 x plus 5 squared plus 6. Now, let's see how that graphs. I'll press graph. There it is. It's a parabola. Isn't it pretty? Now, let's go to the Calculate menu. And first thing I'm going to do is pick number 1 value. I'll show you how that works. So let's type in a value. Let's say I want to know what happens to this graph when x is 2. Enter. Now even though x equals 2 is not on the screen, look, there's 2. Negative 92 is way below where my values can be shown on the screen. It's still finding the value for me. Great. It tells me that y is negative 92. Let me do it again. And this time let me pick a value of 12. Enter. Uh-oh. No good. Now the reason it's no good, let me press go to, is that 12 is not on screen here. It goes from negative 10 to 10 for my x value. So I can't go anything past those. If I want to go past those, I have to go back to window and change my window. Or you could just go to table and look around in there and figure out what's happening at 12. All right, let's go back to the calculate menu. And this time I'm going to pick number 2, 0. Now it's asking me, is 1.914, negative 89.9, or excuse me, negative 89.6, is that to the left of the zero I want? Left bound. Well, no, it's not. It's way over here. I don't want that. So I'm going to move to the left with my left button. Now I have two zeros to find here. So let's find the one that's on the far, far side. Let's find this one over here, this zero. So you have to move your cursor to the left of that. Anywhere to the left will do and press enter. Now it's saying, is this value the right bound? Well, no, it's not. So I need to move to the right, 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 right. Just get your cursor somewhere over here to the right and press enter. Guess you can move your cursor back closer to where you think it is and press enter. And it finds the zero. It's negative 6.7320. Wonderful. To find the other one, you do the same things over again, but the left bound would be over here and the right bound would be over here. Now let's go back to the Calculate menu. And let's look at number 3 and number 4, minimum and maximum. If you look at the graph we have, it doesn't have a minimum. It's a parabola, so it goes on forever downwards. But it does have a maximum, so that's the one we're going to do. Now minimum will work the exact same way as what we're going to do here. So just keep this in mind. All right, it's asking us, is this value over here where it's blinking, is that to the left of the maximum you want? Well, sure, it's over here to the left-hand side of it, so I'm going to press Enter. If it wasn't, I would just move my arrows over there. Now, is it to the right? No, it's not, so I'm going to press right, right, right. Get it so the cursor is somewhere over here to the right of that peak. That's all it needs to be. Anywhere over here will do. Press Enter. For guess, I'm going to move my cursor kind of back up to the top and press enter. Great. Now the calculator made a mistake and I'm so glad it did. This is not really negative 4.999996. The calculator is just a machine. It just works as well as it feels it needs to. So what this really is is negative 5, 6. And I'm sure your teacher would require you to say that it's negative 5, 6. So you'll have to be smarter than the calculator. The calculator just kind of runs until it feels like it's close enough and goes, nah, that's close enough, and stops. You have to know, oh, that's negative 5, 6. So that's that feature in Calculate. Now to show you intersect, I'm first going to have to put in another equation. So let me go down here and type an equation, like y equals, I'll just do something basic, y equals 3, enter. So now when I graph, there we go, I've got a line coming across. So suppose I want to know where these graphs intersect. So I'm going to go second, calculate, I'm going to pick number 5, intersect. And it's asking me, is y1 equals blah 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 plus 6 your first curve, question mark? Yes it is, so I'm going to press enter. Is y2 equals 3 your second curve? Yes it is, so I'm going to press enter. Now what's my guess? You just want to move your cursor closer to the one you're interested in. Let's say I'm interested in the one on the far left. So I'm going to get my closer close to that one and I'm going to press enter and it finds it for me. To do it again to find the other one, you just do all the same steps again but move your cursor closer to this one. That's the end of the calculate menu. Next time we'll learn how to enter data.